Well, hi everybody, thanks for joining us at the Atlantis Resort here at Dubai. And we're at the closing stages of the FIATA and NAFL Logistics and Supply Chain Association annual event for Rami, which is the region of Africa and the Middle East. And I'm joined here today by Elizabeth Gatem. And uh, Elizabeth, you uh, have a number of titles here. You've been very high profile at the event. You are the Chief Executive Officer for Panafric Global, which is a private organization. You're also uh, the board president for an industry association, which is the uh, Ethio Logistics Sectorial Association from the beautiful country of Ethiopia. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for joining us. I just also finished my presidency uh, in Ethiopian Trade Forwarder and Shipping Agents uh, mm. Association uh, okay. uh, last Friday. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, so you've had a whole okay. year, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> okay. The last six years. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah, I did. Okay, yeah. jolly good. So the event for you, we've had two full days, probably 20 or 30 presentations, five or 600 people here. Uh, highlights for you from the event here at, uh, at the resort? The highlights, oh, okay. Um, you know, logistics is always an executive or maybe the leader of the economy or the engine of the economy. Yeah. And this has been also reflected highly by all parties, the UAE uh, government uh, officials, the Saudi Arabia and the freight forwarders, everyone is significantly reflecting how executive and the leader of the economy logistics uh, the whole, sure. to the uh, of the supply chain i mean okay. the whole supply chain is the leader of yeah. uh, and the we economy. and we saw some fantastic presentations from your colleagues right across africa south africa west east africa uh mozambique as well so a really big uh, african contingent here at the event yes uh, that's right i mean uh, a lot of African countries uh, did a lot of presentation, good presentations from Tanzania, Zanzibar, uh, from Morocco. Uh, you know, all presentation also covered the UAE. I'm also surprised to learn, uh, like over 70% of the GDP for UAE comes out of non-oil sector, yeah. and out of that, 14% holds logistics. Yeah. That is. It shows the value of logistics everywhere, you know, even in highly uh, fuel-rich uh, country, sure. logistics has... Uh, Absolutely. Uh, and and uh, really big uh, data points coming out of Ethiopia as well. Ethiopia is a growth area, growth country for the region. So many exciting things happening in your country. Yes. Ethiopia, with our population, uh, the number of population over 120 million and young population. We have a lot of role in the, the supply chain and uh, actively uh, our country has designed a national logistics strategy and trying to digitize our logistics system uh, and moving forward hand in hand with uh, the logistics uh, the sector of the world. Sure. Uh, you know, uh, in logistics, all parties end to end have to be uh, developed all together. We need the soft infrastructure that is harmonized. We need the, the hard infrastructure that is harmonized and integrated. Okay. So uh, be it UAE or any countries who are engaged in uh, production and the uh, supply chain management, the integration, the digitization is very important and that's highly reflected and I am happy that Ethiopia is also going forward that way. Awesome. Well, okay. thank you so much for all your service for the FIATA and thank you for joining us here, Elizabeth Gatton. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Welcome. Thanks. Shukran. Okay. Thanks everybody for joining us on Logistics Executive TV.